Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize the performance of your Ryzen CPU if you have got it new or it's very old and you want to increase the performance. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to watch it till the end. Also don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can help you out individually and don't forget to skip any part of this video and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, so number one is updating your Ryzen CPU drivers. A lot of users are not aware that they need to keep their drivers updated. And for that, I would recommend you guys to click the link in the description below and open up the AMD driver support page. Once you are here, you can simply click on download Windows drivers to automatically detect and update your CPU as well as Ryzen GPU drivers if you already have it. There's also an option right beneath that to manually select and download drivers such as going to the processors, Ryzen processor. Now I personally use the Ryzen 9 5900X, click on submit. Then for Windows 10 version, you can download Ryzen Master or for Windows 11 version, you can download the Store MI. Now, if you already have Ryzen Master on your PC, you cannot install Store MI because this is an issue that I've been facing, but it could be different for you guys. I would like to introduce you all to Orbison Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android, and iOS. Orbison Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Orison Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial and you can access your game from anywhere in the world. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obviously Remote, thanks for sponsoring this video. Step number two is services.msc and a lot of you guys don't know that what part does this play in your PC. So let me tell you guys, simply press Windows and R key on your desktop and then search for services.msc just like this. Press enter and then this small window will open right in front of you. Now what you need to do over here is press S and then look for sysmin on your PC. This is nothing but prefetch and it helps creating prefetch files on your PC and I'm going to be telling you guys how to clear it later. Simply right click on this sysmin, go to properties, then startup type should be set to disable. It could be set to enabled automatically or the startup application, you just need to disable it, simply click on apply and then close this thing. In the same step, what you need to do is press your windows and R key together and this time you need to type in prefetch right over here. Simply click on continue and then this window will open right in front of you. Now what you can do is press Ctrl and A, shift delete all of the files that are present over here and this is completely safe. It just removes the prefetch from your computer which slows down your PC in the long run. Step number three is creating a restore point and this is also super beneficial. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC right over here. You can simply scroll all the way down to find your local disk C, click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Now simply click on create and name it AMD just to remember it and then simply click on the create button. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step since it is very essential and if anything goes wrong on your PC, you can always revert the older settings without any data loss. Once it is done, Simply close the system properties and let's move to the next step that is the Ryzen CPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below and all those guys who are facing issues downloading this pack you can always join my discord server for a detailed downloading tutorial guide. Now once you've downloaded it simply open this thing up and you will find in the AMD CPU priority, processor optimization, power plans as well as the general windows optimization. Open up the first folder and you will find in the AMD CPU priority. Why don't you to do? What you need to do is simply right click on it and run this as administrator or you guys can simply double click to run this thing. This will change your CPU priority and will optimize your processor drastically. Step number two is the processor optimization and over here you will find two simple folders. First one is for basic Ryzen CPU that are your Ryzen 5 5700, Ryzen 5 5600 and all those things. 
Then this one is for Ryzen X series, such as Ryzen 9 5900X, Ryzen 7 5800X, and so on and so forth. So if you have a basic Ryzen CPU, you can simply run the basic Ryzen CPU registry. If you have the Ryzen X and XT series, you can simply go with this one. Third folder is the programs and power plan. And first things over here is the ultimate power plan.txt. You need to open this thing up, copy the scheme, run CMD as administrator. And once this window opens up, you need to control V this code and press enter. I've already done it, so I'll not do it again. Simply open up control panel right after this and look up for power options. Now, once it opens up, you always need to make sure that it is set to ultimate performance. If not already, please do it since it will optimize your PC's power consumption as well as improve your PC's performance. Now, make sure that laptop users, this thing will result in overheating of your laptop as well as higher fan speed. So do it wisely. Next thing is the Unpark CPU application and a lot of you guys not know this application really helps your processor out. You simply need to right click and run this as administrator. Now, once this application opens up, you guys can see a small interface just like this. Now, Windows by default has this tendency to keep your unused CPU cores parked. Parked cores means that they are not functional and only some of the cores are working. Just as you guys can see right now, there are only 10 cores or 6 cores enabled on my PC and 18 cores are parked. It could be the same thing for you guys. So what you should do is simply slide this parked all the way to 100 and click on apply. This will enable all of your cores to keep running in the background and this will optimize your PC's performance. Lower cores means your games are also consuming less cores and it will generate less power for your games to play. Now, next step is downloading Ryzen Master. Ryzen Master is a dedicated tool created by AMD to unlock the Ryzen processor's complete power. And this is a simple software. You can also get it from the link in the description below. You can simply download it from there. Now, once you open it up, it should look like this. It will give you a small warning. Now, this warning is nothing but the Ryzen Master terms and conditions. It says that whatever you do, just make sure that you're doing it correctly. We are not responsible for any processor damage. But I will be showing you guys the best way to use Ryzen Master. And here is it how. You can simply click on OK, just so you ensure those policies. And now let the application open up. Now, this is a very advanced mode, but we're not talking about the advanced mode in this video. Now, if you want to do the advanced version, the advanced overclocking of AMD Ryzen Master, I have already made a dedicated video on the best settings for advanced Ryzen Master. And if you guys open up the, in the advanced screen, you need to locate yourself the basic view right over here. And it will open up this small window, which is really accessible for newbies. Now, let's say if you have a new processor, I would recommend you guys that you should set the control mode to auto OC and the curve optimization mode to parkour and simply go with start optimizing. This will result in multiple system restarts. So you need to save your work before doing everything and you need to make sure that you press on OK right after that. Now I won't do it, I'll simply press cancel. This is just a demonstration purpose. Now for all of you guys who have an older CPU, an older CPU that means you have a really old desktop with a Ryzen processor and you want to get better performance, you can simply select Auto OC with all cores and simply go with Start Optimizing. The same thing over here, you need to save all of your processes before clicking on OK since it will restart your PC multiple times and copy the best settings out there. Now, both of them will get you better FPS and better performance, but in case they are giving you any issues in the gaming, let's say you are crashing your games, your PC is shutting down midway, you can always set it to default and off and simply click on apply and that will change everything back to normal. Don't worry, all of the settings shown for Ryzen Master are completely safe. In this video, if you apply anything other than that, I'm not responsible for it. Just make sure to do the ones that I'm telling you guys and you will be completely safe. So guys, just by following these steps you will be unlocking maximum performance out of your old or new amd ryzen cpu i hope this video helps you out make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if it really helps you guys we'll see you in another video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out